setting up your meeting for Facebook Live. Redirecting to Facebook Live. Oh, we are live now. Okay. Oh, wait, let me pause that. Okay, I think we're on. So welcome to our prayer challenge. This week we have our special guest, Chloe Osborne, who has agreed to join us for our prayer challenge this week. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to uh, draw your attention to a poll on the top of our Facebook page. Um, you know, with so much going on in the country with um, racial injustice and riots, and I know um, a lot of you are feeling helpless and like you wanna do something. Um, I really want our church to be more engaged in these conversations. And so um, I'm hoping we can have a book group uh, to, or some kind of discussion group, um, at least one, and we'll have as many as we can uh, to talk about these um, things, to talk about race, racism, to learn more. So I encourage you to take that poll and consider joining one of those groups. Um, I think that's gonna be really important moving forward as we think about ways to engage beyond just posting on Facebook or, um, or being upset. What can we actually do to learn more and go a little deeper? So that's at the top of the Facebook page. Um, right now we have Chloe who has graciously agreed to join us and share a little bit about her prayer practice. Um, I think it's also kind of a scripture reading practice. Um, so Chloe, you wanna tell us a little bit about your, your we'll call it a spiritual practice. Okay, yeah, so I have many spiritual practices that I do, but one of my favorite and my, one of my top ones is um, I call Bible journaling. So what I've learned over like the, just the years of being in school and in like AP English classes and everything is that writing in your literature can help you understand it a lot more. Like it interacting with any text in general makes you understand it and um, get a deeper meaning of it. So when I decided to follow Christ um, more as I grew up, I took that to my Bible. So what I did was that um, as I was starting to read my study Bible, I, there wasn't like enough room. So what I did was that I actually went and bought a journal, the word Bible. So that helps me a lot more when it comes to um, reading scripture, because I can actually like highlight and write and really just be able to just really dive deeper into the text that way because it helps me understand what the message is so for example ephesians looks like this like it is just covered with highlights and notes on the side um from like my girls from the bible study have said or what i think and um yeah so i just do that all of my bible and um if something really speaks to me from that i take like a verse that really popped out to me or just something I want to talk about. And I take that to my actual journal and I write about it after that. So you have a different journal that you then go mm -hmm. to and Yeah, I have this journal right here where I actually go in and like write at the top or something. And I just actually just write. So you're pulling stuff from the Bible and then kind of going a little deeper with uh, mm -hmm. how it applies, mostly like how it applies to your life. Yeah, or just kind of how I feel about it, like kind of writing like, like a sermon in a way like that's how kind of how I see it like I'll take something and I'll write it and I'll and I'll just write it as if I was going to tell someone about it mm -hmm. I like that do you want to read us I mean it I know it can get a little personal probably do you want to read us any not from your journal journal but what kind of notes are you taking in your bible yeah so like I'll pull from Ephesians just because it's one of my favorite books yeah. so for example um like one of my notes, um, my friend Cammie from school, we were studying, I think just the first chapter and she wrote like, he accepts us all, our, our inheritance is guaranteed if we live a life for him. So that's what I kind of write up there or I'll write at the very top, he has a plan, he's gonna accomplish it, um, unconditional love, like just that kind of stuff. And like, if I feel like a something like speak to me in my heart next to a verse, I'll write that next to a verse too. So, and highlight it, underline, circle words, like just everything, yeah. 
So it's like a, a working Bible. You're kind of mm -hmm. like just marking it all up. Yeah, for sure. And you feel like this has helped you connect with God on a deeper level? Yes, um, because I just feel like me like um, highlighting and then going back and then underlining certain words or circling certain words, it helps me um, kind of see what like, like Paul, for example, is trying to say about Jesus, like, um, and pulling, like, just like circling and um, underlining and writing even notes or notes on the side about just certain verses. It just really makes me um, understand like things just a little bit more when I go back and read it and see those like marks that I've made and just um, reminds me I think just a little bit easier. I love that because I think um, it's so easy to read scripture to where we're just we're just kind of reading it to get through it and it doesn't really sink in and you're but when you're actually actively highlighting and taking notes you're making those applications for your life and mm -hmm. kind of thinking through the connections and uh, mm -hmm. what what is this what are these words actually saying to me right so if someone was going to start this practice what would they need well it um I probably would start off with a Bible that's probably like big enough to start writing in. Mm -hmm. um, or if you're kind of nervous about it, I would just start highlighting first and then um, kind of taking it up from there. But I definitely would start off with a journal Bible. Um, but also I probably would suggest Bible safe highlighters and Bible safe pens. And I didn't know these existed until I got into Bible journaling, but these are safe for your Bible pages, especially for the journal, the word pages and your regular Bible too. They're safe for them. Um, they won't bleed through. And um, yeah, because those pages are really thin. Yeah, for sure. So Bible, Bible safe, everything. And where'd so, you get those? Um, so these my dad actually got for me. They are Zebra, Zebrite brand though. And then these um, I actually got off an Instagram um, small business. It's um, by Daily Grace Company. I can always link it um, on our thing. And yeah. These are the pens. And then these my dad got me, but they're the brand Zebra. Awesome. Yeah, feel free to put that link in the comments. If you want to. That's awesome. So yeah, and I know some of us, you know, we get a Bible. And a lot of times those Bibles are really sentimental. And it's like, mm -hmm. can I can I write in this? Is that, yeah. you know, but you want to preserve the Bible and keep it nice. And I think, you know, the Bible is a living document. And mm -hmm. I'd rather see someone's Bible like ripped up and written in and used and loved and then just kept real nice on a shelf. So don't feel weird about writing in your Bibles. Yeah, my um, AP English professor actually said that um, you can tell um, someone's favorite book when it's written all over in. So yeah, a lot yeah. of books that we had to read, I learned to write all over in. So that's why I like to write in my Bible because it's one of my favorite books, of course. Duh. so it's going to be written all over in beautiful yeah that's awesome well thank you chloe i'm so glad that you came to share and uh your challenge for this week if you're listening uh pull out your bible try some bible journaling just pick a book maybe try ephesians that's a good one yeah. and uh and just uh write some comments write questions highlight your favorite parts uh highlight the parts that confuse you just try it this week um so yeah we will be back this Friday for another Bible challenge. And Chloe, thank you so much for joining us. No problem. Thank you. Have a good afternoon, everybody. And Chloe, I don't know how to end this video other than ending the Zoom call. So I'm going to do okay. that. So I'll All say right. goodbye to you too. Bye. Bye.